here with the fastest father-son team in New England on two wheels. Guys, how's it going today? Yeah, it's going great. You know, we're uh, kind of waiting on the weather a little bit, but we're uh, getting ready for qualifying right now. So, Scott, you've been racing for a long time. Your, your, your son, Sam, has been racing a long time. The Greenwood name is synonymous with uh, Loudon. Uh, winner circle. You guys have won two, a, a, quite a few races. I've heard. Is that is that true? Yeah, yeah. We've uh, since Sammy graduated from the you know the amateur ranks up to the expert class, and then from from riding SV650s uh, in the lightweight division, some other bikes into the middleweight class. Where we both compete on Yamaha R6s. Uh, we've had quite a few battles where, uh, yeah, the kid would get the whole shot and have to track him. The old man have to track him down, and uh, vice versa. He's uh, he's right on my heels, uh, hoping for a mistake. And uh, we've had quite a few good. Uh, Good battles and uh, you know a lot of a lot of good fun. It's not too often you get to do something special like that with your son, That's especially awesome. on Father's Day weekend. That's awesome. You couldn't ask for a better story than that. How old are you two guys? Uh, I'm 50, 25. 50 and 25. <laughs> That's awesome. So you would have been out there battling for the uh, the quarter million dollar biggest purse ever in the history of road racing, yeah, but that, you're injured right now, right? Yeah, that was the plan. Obviously, uh, in the off season, they had a big announcement with the two hundred fifty thousand dollar purse for Loudon Classic had everybody talking and. Uh, we had some plans in uh, in the works early during the winter to try to to try to build something special, have a good bike for the event, just not just a, a standard super sport bike. Try to have something with uh, something a little bit more of a loaded gun instead of a butter knife. Um, but uh, you know, as the season wore on, and, and uh, you know, I got injured in October, had surgery end of November. I'm supposed to be good by by January, but by February, new things weren't going to be uh, weren't going to be great. And I've uh, I didn't give up till June 1st, basically. I was working hard trying to rehab it, trying to get it so I could be somewhat functional to actually ride. And uh, just arm's not there, strength's not there. It's not worth the risk to uh, to compete, unfortunately. But um, I'm here supporting Sam. He's doing a great job, and we're looking forward to for him putting in a solid result for the Greenwood name. Awesome. we got to carry the Greenwood torch this weekend. Going to try. Going to try. i got big shoes to fill. But, uh, yeah, it's great. I mean, the atmosphere up here is awesome. Um, great to see all the pro teams. I remember that when I was just a little kid, uh, back when he was racing the pro stuff here. And, um, so pretty awesome to see. Uh, we're pretty excited. Now I just got to get myself to go a little quicker to get with those guys, but uh, we'll see. It's a long race. Anything can happen. Sam, how old were you when you started road racing? I started road racing when I was uh, 14. Back then was uh, 14, you could start. So once I turned 14, I was, Dad, when are we going? Dad, when are we going? Where's the bike? But uh, yeah, we started then and uh, yeah, racing ever since. How many championships have you won so far? Uh, I'm only, uh, I think, 106 behind my dad. I got three. Uh, you won 106 109. championships? 109. 109? Yeah. <laughs> wow, you need a calculator to add them up. That's impressive, holy moly. Wow. Yeah, so we're a little behind, but... Uh, hey, yeah. you got your whole life ahead of you, though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, <laughs> you got, got another 25, 25 years. years you got to do four years. You got to championships, so we'll Four years, you'll catch them, right? Wow. What, how old were you when you started racing? I started at 18. Um, yeah, 18, back in 1991, um, here at uh, Nash Motor Speedway. And, uh, yeah, I did the Penguin School and turned expert in 92, did my first pro race uh, the summer of 92 out of mid-Ohio. I was tagging along with my brother, who was a, a 250 GP racer. Uh, doing the AMA stuff and the local stuff, and in the mid uh, late 2000s, uh, or excuse me, in the late 90, you know, 1990s, in the 99, 98 area, we were doing some uh, some nationals here and there throughout the stuff, kind of the Northeast stuff, the big Loudon Classic, and then the early 2000s started doing uh, some AMA Super Sports stuff. Um, did the Formula USA series, won a national championship with Formula USA in 03. So yeah, had a lot of fun, rode a lot of really fun tracks, met a lot of cool people. Uh, it's been a good sport, and uh, yeah, it's a uh, you know, love motorcycles, and and uh, can't get enough of it. It's, it's a good time for sure. That's awesome. So, who are your who are your sponsors for this event? Uh, our season sponsors, you know, Sam and I kind of we uh, we're a package deal. So, uh, you know, we got Dunlop Tires, Argo Cycles, SVM over in uh, Milford, New Hampshire, Spectral Oils, um, Superbike uh, Services, uh, Superbike Services 44 does all of our suspension. Seco Sports Cycle, Dunlop's a huge supporter again. Uh, Arai Helmets. Uh, I, I've uh, been uh, rocking the Vance and Leathers, and Sammy's uh, got his new sponsor here with Anthem. So, um, yeah, it's a, it's a core group that we kind of share resources and make the effort happen. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a it's a good it's a good deal. The sponsors that I've had, like Dunlop, we're talking 20-year relationships with, wow. and uh, they're phenomenal. They know I'm out, but they're still here supporting, still here supporting Sam, uh, trying to be uh, as supportive as possible so he can get his best result ever. I had heard there's a big story about Dunlop having their 100th year in business, United States of America. 
coincide with the 100th running of Laconia, the Loudon Classic. So that's kind of a big deal. And I was talking to the Dunlop Rick. He had, all his, he had stacks of rain tires taller than me. So hopefully we don't need them tomorrow. But yeah, we're hoping we're hoping for a nice dry event. Get the people, get all the people from Laconia down here to watch the event. You know, help support the show so we can help build this into something even bigger next year. Um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it, Dunlop does a lot for this series. They're very supportive of the riders and done a great job of supporting club racers here in the Northeast. Uh, for many, many years, and I'm super uh, proud to be associated with them, for sure. They're also made in America, too. Uh, yeah, yeah, for a while we were running that Great Britain stuff, uh, they made a change over, uh, brought, brought the race tire services uh, for the U.S. sales back into Buffalo. Uh, right Buffalo here in and New Pennsylvania, York. and yeah, they, oh, Pennsylvania. Yeah, well, Buffalo, New York, and Pennsylvania, oh, they kind of split production in both areas, I guess. But um, yeah, the the product is uh, since it came back to the U.S., it's been steadily getting better and better. We're seeing improvements, and the 2023 version of the tires are even better. I'm a little jealous that I'm not riding, but Sammy's giving me a lot of feedback, and the tires are really good. And uh, yeah, we're excited. We're hoping uh, we're hoping that the Dunlops can be up on top of the podium. It's a it's a you know it's it's a story in itself. You know the. The, the, the series here, we got three different tire vendors, Michelin, Pirelli, and Dunlop. Dunlop's had a stranglehold over the years. Pirelli's got a big effort with Shane Narbone trying to throw a lot of resources at him, trying to make this a, a, a tire war type thing. And really, it's a, it's a, it's a win on Sunday, sell on Monday type atmosphere. You know, the guy who wins this race, uh, the next the next race week in the club race is like, hey, who won the Classic? And they might pick that tire brand for their next tire to, to purchase at the racetrack. So it is true, like the old days, you know, sell uh, again, uh, win on Sunday, sell on Monday. And, Amen. and uh, yeah, there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff like that. But overall, it's a great family atmosphere, just like your world in motocross. You know, it's, uh, I got people coming over knowing I'm riding their bar on parts. Josh Hayes, I know him from... AMA Superbike days. I've loaned him three or four things already. Got giving him sprockets and, and springs and trying to get help him help him be competitive. But it's a it's a great family atmosphere. The Loudon Road Race Series, or excuse me, the uh, Northeast Motorcycle Road Race Series, and uh, it's it's a it's a great group of people to be involved with. And you'll be back next year, won't you, if not sooner? Yeah, yeah, I'm hoping to, hoping to be back with two good working arms and shoulders and be able to uh, be able to be competitive. But we'll uh, we'll see what what comes, what brings, and. Uh, Again, overall, just, uh, just happy to be here, having a good time, and uh, being around my friends, and riding motorbikes, and watching motorbikes spin around this track. Awesome. Well, thank you. I know you guys got a lot of work to get ready, so we'll get out of your hair. We wish you the best of luck tomorrow, and uh, hope to see you out there next year. Thank you for your time. God bless y'all watching, and God bless America. Thanks, man.